Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Gamble with Jimmy. Uh, this particular strategy I'm calling light switch. It's pretty interesting. Um, basically, what I'm going to do, I've got a $5,000 buy-in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do all of the numbers across the board. Um, every number is going to be bad, every single box number. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch the light switch where they're all going to go to the dark side. So basically, we're going to have one roll. Uh, we're going to start it off on the come out. We're going to work the come out. But we're going to go ahead and have everything on the dark side. And then when we, we establish a point where we're probably going to lose that particular number. So let's say, for example, if we had $50 on all the numbers and it hits a six, well, obviously, we're going to lose $50. Um, so we're going to lose the dark side, the, um, the, the lay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch it to the light side. And um, then we will hit a couple box numbers and we'll switch it back to the dark side. So basically what the concept is, is that we're going to lose every time that we roll a 7 on the light side. And it's going to take all our money. Sometimes we're going to get lucky and we're going to be on the dark side when the 7 comes. And we're going to get paid all across the board for the seven. The percentages stink, to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, we're not getting a good ratio there. But we will win a lot of times on the four when we have the four on the light side and the 10 on the light side. We will get two to one there. We will get 40% more than our bet on the five nines and stuff like that. So I think overall, how we can win in this is to uh, ladder our bets up if we're ever picked off on the light side okay so let's see if we can make this work um five thousand dollar buy-in and here we go okay now the minimum lay bet on a four and a ten is 40. so we have no choice but to do that that that's at my local casino Okay, so that's going to be level one right there, guys. So we're going to have 40 on the no four and the, and the 10, 40 each. We're going to have 30 on all the other numbers, okay? So obviously we're looking for a seven. Um, and then we'll get paid for the dark side. And then as soon as we get a point, we'll go ahead and switch it to the light side. That's always bad for us because on the 10, we it, it has the 40 versus the 30. So uh, so basically, everything now is going to come down to the light side. We're going to flip the switch and we're going to go to the light side. And what we're going to do is on the 10, the 10 got picked off, right? So we're going to make, um, remember, we're going to get 2 to 1 if we roll a 10. So we'll put the 40 back on the 10 and if we hit the 10 it'd be 80 so we'll get our money back plus a profit Okay, so for those of you that can't see the dice, that was on 11. Okay, so we're going to hit the 5. We're going to get 35. So we're only down $5 right now. All right, we're going to have to stay on the light side until we get into the profit.
Okay, we rolled a 12 and then a 2. Another 12. Okay, we hit the 9. That's going to pay 35. Okay, so on this strategy, the key is going to be you always have to pay attention to what's going on and how much you're earning and how much you're losing. If you don't pay attention to that, you're not going to be successful with this strategy. So you got to constantly think, okay? So we just hit that nine. Okay, so what I'm going to do, remember, remember something important. You're only going to lose one number on the dark side. When you hit that switch, you only can lose one number. There's no way you can lose more than one number when you make that switch. When you're on the light side, you could lose everything. Remember that. So we're going to make the switch to the dark side. We're trying to time the dark side so we can win across the board. Five, two, seven. Five two seven. Giants, God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius. The okay, let's go ahead and get paid. Okay, so we know on the four and the ten we got forty, so we're gonna get like nineteen dollars each on each one of those. Okay, so we'll take we'll round it off to forty bucks between the ten and the four. We're gonna get forty bucks. Okay, now we'll do the five and the nine. We have 30 each. Okay, that's gonna pay $35 between the two, okay? It's like 18 bucks each, so. Uh, I just took 35. Okay, and then we're going to get paid for the 6 and 8. This is going to pay, we got $30, so it's really 60 between the two. So I'll calculate it for you. It's $36, so we're just going to take, uh, we'll take 35 There, 35 Shouldn't be more than that. I think it's 76% at 60%. Hold on one second. Yeah, it's $45, okay? So $45 because we got 60 between the 6 and the 8, okay? So that's why I wanted to switch because you always have to remember that. You can't get as hurt on the dark side for that one roll. You have a chance to win all of the money versus lose all the money. Okay, so that was the seven, so we're going to do the come out, so we're going to stay on the dark side. We're going to switch that light and stay on the dark. Okay, it's going to be an eight, so we're going to lose $30. Okay, we simply just replace it. We hit the light switch. We're on the light side. Hopefully we can get two hits and go back to the dark. Okay, we hit the eight, which is the point, which is nice because we get paid um, $5 more than what we lost on that shooter. 
And now we get to go back to the dark side to try to hit the seven. Okay, obviously we're working because they're lays. So here we go. Okay, we got picked off for 30. We put our 30 back on the nine. We're gonna stay on the light side now. Okay, that's a six. We're gonna make 35. So once again, we make another $5 profit from the previous loss. So, so far, we really have won $10. Um, now, I will show you what I'll do when we get picked off on the light side and lose all our money. I'll show you what we'll do. Okay, we hit the five for 35. All right, I'm gonna stay on the light side one more. I, I'm gonna look for one more. Sometimes you can get between two and three hits. Um, I'm really trying to get a four or a 10 because that'll give us 80 bucks, that'll be really nice. So let's see if we can get lucky and get one more. Okay, we're gonna have to settle for another 35 on the six. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the light switch and turn the lights off. Okay, we are now on the dark side. Okay, we hit the six, we're gonna lose 30. Just replace your 30 on the dark, stay on the dark. Okay, that's an 11. That's actually a really good roll when you roll snake eyes, 12, 11, three, because you don't lose any money and you're that closer to the statistics of a seven. Okay, that's a bummer. We hit the four, so that's gonna we're gonna lose forty dollars there. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna hit the six, we're gonna lose 30. Okay, so what we're gonna start doing is we're just gonna start doubling our bet when we lose it on the dark side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put another 40 on the uh, four. We have 60 on the no six. I'm going to go ahead and do the four now. I'm going to add another 40 to make it 80. Okay, and there's our seven.
Okay, there's our payout. All right, so we had 80 on the four. We're going to get 40. We had uh, 35 or 40 on the 10. We're going to get 20. Oh, we got to get paid for the nine. Hold on. Okay, we had 30 on the nine and the five. So we're supposed to get 18 each, but I only took 15 each. And then the six, remember, we, we had 60, so we get 45 there. And we had 30 on the eight, we get 20. Okay, so we had a successful shooter. disrespectful for to people okay guys um I put those out on the box numbers. This is to come out. So instead of me moving them all up, everybody knows that I'm on the dark side. They're all lays, okay? They're not box, they're not uh, buy bets. Okay, we're on the light side. They're all box numbers now. We're working. Okay, so this is the first time we're getting picked off, guys. So we're gonna lose everything. Put away on me, cost me money. I don't have any money, dude. Okay. I'm broke, man. My well, life I, sucks. I understand that. And now we're gonna go to level two. Instead of taking all that money down, I'm just gonna calculate it and just pay it out of my pocket here. We've got one, two, three, four. We got 150 in green. And 40 in red, okay? So we lost 190. It's very expensive. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and double this, and we're going to be on the dark side on the come out. Okay, we are not on the box numbers. We're on the lays, guys. This is the come out. Okay, we're going to lose the money on the six, which is 60 bucks. Okay, we're on the light side. We switched the switch. We're all working all our light side box numbers. Here we go. Okay, we just had lost that six, so now we're going to get 70. So we got our 60 back plus 10. Okay, so we're up 10. We lost 190, so we got to get 180. All we need is a couple good hits here, guys. Okay, we hit the 8 for 70. Okay, we're down 110 from that uh, 7, so let's try to get it back. Okay, that's an 8. That's another 70, okay? So we're only down now uh, about 100. And uh, what what are we down? Uh, I just said it. I forgot. I think we're down like a hundred bucks, hundred twenty bucks.
Okay, we hit the nine, that's gonna pay 70. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come back down to level one and we're gonna put the light switch on and we're gonna switch to dark. Okay, guys, everything is on the hedge. We are no longer on the box numbers. We're going to push those up. Saves me time. We're on the dark side. There's our seven, guys. God damn it, Gump! You're a goddamn genius! All right, we have too much on the dark side on the on the five. We forgot to take that fifty down. It's supposed to be twenty five. I'm only going to pay myself on twenty five. Okay, we're all paid up. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and push that on. The, we're going to keep it on the dark side. We're not on the box numbers. We're coming out, we're on the he the hedging, okay? We're all laying everything. Okay, we're gonna lose 25 on the five. Okay, we hit the switch, we're working all the box numbers. Okay, that was an 11. Okay, we're gonna lose that. We got uh, 100, 150, 160, 170, 175. I'm gonna pay them. Okay, we're good to go. All right, we're on the dark side. We are laying everything on the come out. Okay, we're going to lose 60 on the six. Okay, we're on the box numbers. Okay, we got our money back that we lost on the come out. Uh, so we got 70 there. So now we got to focus on that $160 that we lost. Okay, we're going to hit the five for 70.
Okay, we still need about another hundred bucks. Here we go. Okay, we hit the five for 70. All right, so we're only down about $30 from that seven, okay? We can always recover. If we get picked off again, we got to go double again, guys. It can get very expensive, but it's very difficult to lose because you have to understand a lot of times you're going to get come out sevens on the lay. When you switch it on the lay, you're going to make some money. So it's an interesting strategy. It just takes a lot of concentration. Okay, the nine's going to pay 70 bucks. Okay, so just like that, we are in profit. Let's go ahead and bring it all the way down to level one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to the dark side now. Okay, so we're now we're going to the dark side. Okay, that's a six. We're going to lose 30. I'll stop being lazy. Okay, so I put 60. We lost 30 on the on the no six, and now we got 60. There's our seven. Okay, we are paid in full. All right, let's go ahead and cash out and see how we did. We started with 5,000.
All right, we really only need 15 to make 5,000. I'm just going to do a quarter. All right, guys, we made basically 500 bucks. We're, we're only uh, five bucks short. Uh, from 500 we'll just call it $500 uh, not bad you know it's um I think that sometimes it's gonna just depend on uh yeah I think sometimes it's just gonna depend on if you can get a lot of those switches uh where you go to the dark side and you hit them I do like going up uh but if you notice that the way that I played it I didn't immediately you have to understand when we go to this to the dark side <coughs> we've already roll, rolled like five times so then when your numbers start getting picked off you could get murdered if you have a long shooter if you don't get any sevens and you have a long roll you literally could get murdered you could get picked off on every single number but guess what you can get picked off on every single number what one roll of a seven on the light side so th remember that so i do like going up um when the when the dark side gets picked off uh don't be in a rush to do it uh wait a little bit before you start going up on it maybe get picked off one or two times on a couple different numbers and then you can start doing it but um i think that if if I had to play this, like if you said, Jimmy, the only strategy that you could play every single day is light switch, I would probably, it, it wouldn't probably be my choice to play every day, but I could probably make every day about 500 uh, just playing like the way you saw it because I have a big enough bankroll to always bail me out. So if, for example, if I got picked off with three straight sevens, but that's the beauty, beautiful thing about this. The only way that you're going to get picked off three straight sevens is if, because remember, when you get picked off on the light side, you're going to the dark side. So if you get that back-to-back -back seven, you're making some of that money back immediately from the come out. So come on, we all know that you see a lot of sevens on a come out, right? Well, you're winning every single time that happens. Um, so overall, I like the strategy. Um it's, it's definitely not in my top 10, but it's an interesting strategy that I came up with and I figure I show it to you. You know, my job is to entertain you guys and sometimes we hit home runs, sometimes we have average strategies, but I think I wouldn't show it to you if I didn't believe that you could actually make money with it. Uh, we just proved that we can. We just made 500 bucks, so ain't nothing wrong with 500 bucks, right? Okay, so guys, thank you so much for everything. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, give me a comment. Uh, remember, comments are all, you know, I look at them first and then I approve them. Um, if it's a disrespectful comment, I, I really don't get a lot of them lately. But uh, for some reason, like I told you, this there's this one person. He's the only one that's sending me rude comments. And he, sent, he literally is like, um, it's like one of my ex-girlfriends that I broke up with or something, you know, is like, He's acting like a like a, a woman who's obsessed or something like that. He he just can't control himself. He has to say something negative to me like six times. Who emails a grown man six times because the guy has a YouTube channel that's making crap strategies. And a lot of the strategies are fantastic. So that's the thanks that I get from people like that. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. I don't even know who this guy is. Dude, leave me alone. Go on with your life, bro. <laughs> like, no one cares. No one's seeing your emails. No one's seeing them except for me. And all I'm doing is blocking you. You're now blocked. You're now reported to YouTube. So just go on with your life, whoever you are, dude. You're, you're miserable. It's ridiculous. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have a, a fantastic day. And I'll see you on the next video.